It's true, I do. Do people wear these anymore? I don't know. I like how everyone has their credits, and I'm like, does this shirt look good? <laughs> um, guys, I'm recently out of a relationship. Um, it's sad. I don't know. Don't you hate, though, when you're dating somebody who's so jealous and insecure that everything they see is just, like, delusional? Yeah. Um, my ex-boyfriend did, too. Yeah, apparently I'm a psycho. I didn't know. I wasn't aware of the fact. I just, like, found myself constantly towards the end of our relationship just, like, thinking of ways to go through his shit. Like, he'd go to the bathroom and leave his phone out, and I'd be like, sweet. <laughs> I'd go through all of his pictures, and I found one. This one time I find this picture, and I pull it up, and I'm like, who the fuck is this? Who the fuck is this bitch? He was like, Anna, um... It's my sister's dog. Um, his name is Charlie. I was like, oh my god. You're gay? <laughs> yeah, that joke is funny uh, um, because he, uh, he is now. <laughs> this is true. It's a very true story. My ex-boyfriend of three years is a gay... <laughs> and it's weird. Because, like, there weren't any warning signs. Like, it just kind of came out of nowhere. I mean, I met him at theater school. <laughs> I was his first kiss on stage during Thoroughly Modern Millie. And uh, he named my strap on Trevor. But just like, it's just like normal relationship stuff. People go through it. Yeah, so like, getting out of a relationship and starting over in LA is, um, <laughs> Don't. <laughs> Don't do that. It's terrible. It's like a different breed of men. Like, dating out here is just like, fucking, it's nuts. It's completely different. Like, a few weeks ago, I was at work. I, I work at a bar. I'm a bartender. Woo! Yeah. yeah, shout out to the bartenders. <laughs> All of them are bartenders. That's great. Um, but I was, uh, I was at work, and this regular came in. This really hot guy, he's super attractive, and like he finally asked me out. He was like, hey, do you want to get a drink after work? And I was like, yes, sir, I do. <laughs> so we like went, we got a couple drinks, and uh, he walks me to my car, and we like start making out. We're making out for a bit. And then I just like, you know, when you just, you have a feeling about something, you like know some shit's up, your gut's like, hey, Anna, ask him a question. And I was like, okay. <laughs> so I like stepped back, and I was like, Hey, what's my name? To which he replies, Karen. I don't know if you guys remember, like the MC was up here and he was like, it's Anna Gilchrist, come on Anna. Anna Gilchrist, he said that because my name's Anna. My name's Anna Gilchrist. My name is Anna. And this regular who's been coming to my bar for like months thinks my name is Karen and has been making out with me for 15 minutes. So I looked at him and said, yes, and kept making out. <laughs> Which is like fine, because I didn't know his name either. Kept calling him Trevor for some reason. Speaking of feminism, um, <laughs> I am one now. I am a feminist. I've decided to become a fe I mean, I wasn't like not a feminist before, but like, I don't know, I watched a couple videos, I read a BuzzFeed article, and I'm pissed. I'm super pissed. I'm angry. I didn't, I've like created this weird hate fire inside of me, so deep for men, that I like can't wait to go out on the weekends and just like destroy dudes. Just crush their self-esteem. These like nice guys who come up to me and they're like, hey, can I, can I get you a drink? I'm like, oh, can you get me a drink? Can you get me a drink? Jesus, who raised you? <laughs> a couple weekends ago, I was out with my friends and we were about to uh, get into an Uber. We were all like really drunk and I feel somebody tap me on the shoulder. I turn around, it's this guy. He's like, he's out of breath. He's been like running. And he was like, I'm so glad I caught up to you. You left your phone at the bar, so here you go. And I was like, oh, did I? Did I leave my phone at the bar? Is that right? Oh, whoopsies, I'm just a silly woman, right? <laughs> He was like, yes, <laughs> you did. 
And it's like, okay, how do you know I wasn't going, how do you know I wasn't going back? How do you know I didn't, I wasn't gonna, I'm, nah. He was like, because I just ran five blocks to give it to you. You weren't going back for your phone. I was like, okay, I'll take my roofie dusted iPhone 6. Thank you very much. You guys, thank you. That is my time. You've been amazing.